Hello and welcome to Alpha Hunters. Today we have the opportunity to take a closer look at Sorden, one of the leading manufacturers of ear protection in Sweden. We are interested in the active electronic hearing protections that are manufactured here in the factory in Barnamo, and of course the Supreme Pro X models, ideal for hunting use. Here you can see all the parts, including the packaging, needed to complete a Sordin Supreme Pro X LED, the flagship of this range, all at once. And if you're wondering now how these parts are assembled to become a complete hearing protection, let us show you. Around 40 employees in production ensure that around 90,000 Supreme models for the civilian market leave the factory in Barnamo each year. In addition, there are around 60,000 more for professional users in the military, law enforcement and government sectors. Except for the electronic circuit boards, all parts are manufactured in Sweden. The circuit boards are supplied by European manufacturer. At the factory, the whole process begins with an employee applying all the necessary stickers to the cups. Once this is done, the rubber seals for the microphones are inserted into the cups. That's where the microphones of the hearing protection go in later, so that the cups are waterproof at that point. Then foam padding goes into the cups. It is included to protect the boards later if the hearing protection bumps into something or falls off. Now the first circuit board goes into the hearing protector and the whole procedure starts with putting the microphone into the previously addressed rubber seal. Next the battery compartment goes in. The thread of the insert is directly covered with a sealant. Then the metal screw on which later the battery compartment cover is screwed on comes on it. The small O-ring is a rubber seal that ensures that the battery compartment is really watertight. Now the ear protectors stirrups are inserted with an appropriately dense compound and secured with a Seeger ring that engages in the bolt's groove. This operation is duplicated for both of the ear cups. This part is now ready for the next work step. One of the workers solder the cables to the prepared pads on the board. She has to remember many colors and must not mix up any of them. For very fine cables and in difficult places, she uses needle nose pliers. And now a cable tie is used to secure the cable to the board. And now the microphone is inserted here as well. Finally, twist the cables, roll them up, and then insert the 3.5 mm jack socket, which allows the connection to an audio device, such as a hunting radio, as they're very popular in Sweden and many other countries. When all the cables are soldered on, the board is sealed with a 2K UV varnish so that neither moisture or sweat 
are the things that could penetrate the hearing protection, damage the soldered joints, or damage the board or the electronics. When the varnish has dried, the boards are screwed into the cups. The employees do this with a torque power screwdriver. The buttons of the control panel are inserted. The power screwdriver has a magnetic tip that prepares the screws for fastening the PCBs. When all the parts are in, the hygiene or foam inserts are added and then the cushion rings. In this case, there are gel rings. Then the headband is attached and with the exception of the textile cover which is placed around the band, we have basically a finished ear protector. When it's finished, the first acoustic test is carried out. The employee checks the volume and the function of the microphone by clapping her hands. Hearing protections from each batch are checked in the laboratory. Various measuring instruments, audio analyzers and programs are available for this purpose. The hearing protector is placed on a special holder in the soundproof room we have just seen. Meanwhile, the technician checks whether the hearing protection meets the requirements. The last step is packaging and then delivery to the customer. And all of this happens in Varnamo. Please continue following allforhunters.com.